Type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is rapidly rising. It's everywhere all the time. It's getting worse and worse. What do you mean worse. it's rapidly rising? More and more and more people are getting type so 2 diabetes. So they're not curing it at all? I, I mean, for goodness sakes. <laughs> I mean, let's, you know, let's call a spade a spade. Okay. Arthritis, can't cure it. I mean, you want to have a, 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 a eureka moment? Mm -hmm. Do a Wikipedia search. Just pick a disease. <laughs> Do a Wikipedia search and look to see what the cause of the disease is. We don't know what the cause of disease. Medical doctors don't know what causes anything. It's supposed to be genetic. Well, I don't think so, because didn't Darwin argue about the survival of the fittest and, you know, the selection, yep. natural selection? So if all of these illnesses were, in fact, genetic, why aren't there less and less and not more and more? Because they're not genetic. It has nothing to do with it. If there's anything to do with the chromosomal activity and the relationship to chronic disease, it's because of epi genetics, environmental factors which negatively affect the genes. Something that's genetic, you're born with it. So the pancreas is not producing enough insulin. Is that what's going well, on? Well, okay, so there's two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, okay. where your pancreas stops producing insulin. Okay. Then you need insulin to live. And type 2 diabetes, which you develop later on in life, where your body starts to get sluggish in its ability to metabolize sugar right? Mm -hmm. Type 2 diabetes is rising rapidly. Now, interestingly enough, the medical doctors have no idea what causes it, and they have no idea how to cure it. They manage it with metformin and with um, insulin. Uh, metformin reduces the liver's ability to metabolize sugar. Uh, so let me walk you through how this happens, okay? So you eat something that has sugar in it. By the way, Sugar is not the antichrist. Okay. Sugar is the gasoline of the body. You couldn't blink an eyelash without sugar. Sugar is so important to the human body that your DNA is made from it. DNA is an acronym, deoxyribonucleic acid. The ribo stands for ribose, which is sugar. sugar. Your DNA is made from sugar. You couldn't blink an eyelash without it. The problem isn't sugar. It's how much are you eating? and how efficient is your body at dealing with it. So, eat something that's got sugar in it. Your body produces uh, insulin. Insulin floats through the blood, binds to the cell walls. How does it know how to do that? You would think that would be an interesting question to ask, but medical doctors don't ask that question. How does it know what to do? It's a biochemical. How does it know where to go and what to do? Well, I'll tell you how it knows where to go and what to do, because there's divine intelligence guiding it, period. So. Insulin floats through the blood, binds to a cell wall. There's a little receptor on the cell wall that's specific just for insulin. Insulin binds to that receptor, sends an electrical signal through the middle of the cell to open up a door on the other side of the cell to let the sugar in. It's like some, somebody showing up at your house, ringing the front doorbell, and the kitchen door opens up to let the groceries in. All right? <laughs> that's how it should happen if you're healthy. Okay. But... In order for that signal to go through and open up the sugar door, minerals need to be present inside the cell. So we're back to minerals. It's a big deal, man. Two minerals specifically, vanadium and chromium, but there's about 25 other minerals that are at play also. So if this is how, much, how many minerals your body needs, but this is how many are in the body because they're not in the food like they used to be, then the insulin binds to the cell wall tries to send a signal to open up the sugar door, but it gets interrupted. The sugar door stays closed. So what does the body do? It produces more insulin because the sugar is outside the cell, not inside the cell. The body knows that. How does it know that? Nobody knows how it knows that, but it knows that. <laughs> so sugar is still in the cell. The body produces more insulin, more insulin, more insulin. It rings the bell. The door is closed. It rings the bell. The door is closed. More insulin, more insulin. Finally, there's so much flipping insulin in the blood that it forces its way through the door. It slams through the door, breaks the door open, a little bit of sugar gets in the cell. Is that a good idea? It's a bad idea because you break the door when that happens. What happens when you break enough of those doors? Your fingers fall off, your toes fall off, your feet fall off. You get diabetic neuropathy, you get gangrene, all of which are associated from blood sugar issues, but not blood sugar issues, too much insulin. What does the MD deliver? Insulin. 
to somebody who's type 2 diabetic. And their other strategy is to give a drug called metformin, which inhibits the liver's ability to produce sugar. Well, this is fascinating, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's do that instead of just giving minerals, which, by the way, in 1957, okay. it was proven by a medical doctor that vanadium and chromium specifically was related to type 2 diabetes. This guy named Mertz, Dr. Mertz, could turn type 2 diabetes on or off in laboratory mice by giving or withholding chromium. That was in 1957. Well, why haven't we heard about it? Why isn't it out there mainstream helping people? Because a, a medical doctor, the pharmaceutical industry, makes more money managing the disease than they do in curing it. Interesting. My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. So if you were seeing someone right now with type 2 diabetes, what would you do for them? You give them minerals. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Boom. You give them the 90 essential nutrients. And this is the holistic method, okay? The holistic method is the body knows how to fix itself. The body wants to fix itself. The body's trying to fix itself, but the body needs help. We need to eat food. We need to breathe air. We need to drink water. Well, there's one more thing we need to do that nobody told us. I'm telling you right now, you need to swallow 90 essential nutrients every single day. You need to do that, appropriate for your body weight, in recipes that your body can actually absorb. When you do that, your body fixes it, takes care of it. Now, how much is your body going to be able to fix it? Depends on how bad it was before you started doing the program. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen people recover from. You wouldn't believe them. The wow. body's ability to cure itself is much greater than anybody has led you to believe. We must mineralize the body, we must nutrify the body, and then we also have to stop eating certain foods that are gumming up the works. Wow. When we do these two things, the body rallies and healing begins.